Hi boys and girls, how are you today? All right, our story today is Bear Snores On by Karma Wilson and Jane Chapman. We did one of the bear stories at Thanksgiving, so here's a winter one with bear. Okay, friends, I'm going to stop the story halfway, and I want you to make a prediction about what you think is going to happen next. Make a really good, thoughtful guess about what you think is going to happen next, and then I want you to draw me a picture. Maybe you can put some labels or some words at the bottom. What do you think is going to happen next when I stop the story? And then you can bring your picture back to school in your binder, or you can send a picture of it. Maybe your grown-up in your house can take a picture of it and send it to your teacher. All right, here we go. Bear snores on. <clears throat> in a cave in the woods, in his deep, dark lair, through the long, cold winter, sleeps a great brown bear. Cuddled in a heap, with his eyes shut tight, he sleeps through the day, he sleeps through the night. The cold winds howl, and the night sounds growl, but the bear snores on. Does anybody remember the science name of an animal that sleeps through the winter? What is that called? Do you remember? It's called hibernate. There are animals besides bears even that hibernate and they sleep all winter. An itty bitty mouse, pitter pat, tiptoe, creeps, crawls in the cave from the fluff cold snow. Mouse squeaks, too damp, too dank, too dark, so he lights wee twigs with a small hot spark. The coals pip pop, and the wind doesn't stop, but the bear snores on. Two glowing eyes sneak peek in the den. Mouse cries, who's there? And a hare pops in. Ho, mouse, says the hare, long time no see. So they pop white corn and they brew black tea. Mouse sips, wee slurps. Hair burps, big burps, but the bear snores on. A badger scuttles by, sniff snuffs at the air. I smell yummy yums, perhaps we can share. I've brought honey nuts, badger says with a grin. Let's divvy them up, cozy down and dig in. And they nibble and they munch with a chew, chomp, chomp, crunch. But the bear snores on. A gopher and a mole tunnel up through the floor. Then a wren and a raven flutter in through the door. Mole mutters, what a night, what a storm, twitters wren. And everybody clutters in the great bear den. They tweet and they titter, they chat and they chitter, but the bear snores on. In a cave in the woods, a slumbering bear sleeps through the party in his very own lair. Hare stokes the fire, mouse seasons the, the stew, then a small pepper flake makes the bear, I bet you know what's coming. Rah-choo! He blows and he sneezes and the whole crowd freezes. And the bear wakes up. Okay, draw a picture of what happens next. All right, and then you can watch the second part of the story. Bye, I love you.